A very good evening to all of you, dear viewers of Asia and Oceania. This is a program sponsored by our Universal Church members at the Succeeding Life Center. Let's take the opportunity right now at the beginning of this program and you can type on the comments about your requests. If you face any problems, difficulties, or your family members, friends, and colleagues, they're going through hardships. You can type on the comments right now. By the end of this program, we will say a powerful prayer to change the situation. Whatever bad news you have received recently, we will turn it to good news. If you are sick right now, if you are taking medications, if you are going always to the hospital, we will determine your healing. We will determine that you will break all the limits in your life. As all of you, you are aware, we are in the purpose in the church. We determine that each one of you, those who are connected with us, you will break the limits of your life. We would like for you to watch as well our testimonies of faith, of those who broke the limits already. That's the reason why they will share strong testimonies through this program. If you are not in this purpose yet, you can ask your local pastor. We are praying every single day, in the morning, afternoon, in the evening, especially at midnight. We don't want you for to miss these prayers. We want you to be connected with us, so you'll be the next one to testify about God's power. Remember what we have explained in the last program. This is the shortest month and this month will be the greatest in your life. Do you believe it? So you can share the link to all your contacts right now. Let's make this special opportunity to become something amazing in your life. So go ahead. You can send this link right now and you'll be able to save, inspire, motivate many people to watch us right now. By the way, our tonight's question is related to your purpose. The question is, what is fasting? When should we fast? If you know about fasting, I would like for you also type on the comments. You can type on the comments about experiences you had with fasting. For what reason? Why should we do it? Please explain to us about fasting. You can type on the comments right now and I believe your testimony, your experience with God will help many others. We have two kinds of fasting, the partial and the total fasting. You can type on the comments as well. Let's watch our testimonies. We'll be right back. My life was miserable. Before coming to the Universal Church, my life was miserable. Financially, I had to work six days, and there are times I had to have two jobs to make ends meet. But it still wasn't enough. There was something in the way. My, life, my love life was a mess. There was constant fighting, arguing, over little things, things that doesn't make sense. There are times we would stay days without talking to each other. After coming to the Universal Church on Fridays for deliverance, taking what the pastor was teaching into, our, into my daily life, today there is no more fighting in my love life. My husband and I, we love each other very much. We are very close. We are very happy. And I cannot ask for a better relationship than what I have today. Today, financially, we are moving forward. The doors are open. We are blessed. My name is Sandra. Today, my life is transformed.
I grew up in a family that was, um, what can I say, disorganised. We all had our little, uh, had our little problems. We were all going through uh, abuse, and I was going through as a child abuse with my own dad. It made me a very angry and aggressive person because I couldn't do nothing right in my dad's eyes. I couldn't uh, talk to him. Everything I said came out wrong and I blamed myself. It got to the point where I'd lock myself away in my bedroom because it turned into a love-hate relationship between us. I left home at the age of 16 and I got into relationships. I was abused. I was abused there in, in relationships because I finished up turning, turning around. When men started abusing me, I turned the situation around and then I started abusing them. The only way out is for me to commit suicide. Today I can say that Susan is a different person. She no longer has the desire to commit suicide or smoke drugs or drink. Uh, and, and with the help of God, he's, he's helped me overcome. He's helped me believe in myself. I'm very happy today that God has made the impossible possible in my life and I can say I'm a very happy person today. Insomnia. Inability to fall asleep or to remain asleep long enough to feel rested, especially as a problem continuing over time. I used to suffer with insomnia. I couldn't sleep at night. The effects of this can be devastating to a person's health, marriage, and career. And when it was time for me to get up to go to work, that's when I wanted to sleep, and that created a lot of problems on the job. Yet few ever consider that it could be caused by evil spirits who thrive on the confusion and fatigue that insomnia creates. I started coming to the Universal Church on Fridays to be delivered from insomnia. And now I can sleep better at nights. I feel good, I feel good. I, I'm, I feel more rested when I wake up in the morning and I can able to go to work. It was impossible for me to break free of the drugs as I was surrounded by drugs. I was not only taking drugs, I was also selling drugs. I was dating drug dealers. Everything around me, all my surroundings was to do with drugs. I had no normal life. My life was based on all kinds of drugs and alcohol. So for me, this was an impossible case. By coming to the church, I soon learned how to have strength and I was taught how to use my faith and putting the two together, I was able to get rid of this addiction. It didn't happen overnight, but within the first few weeks, I already saw changes and the impossible case became possible.
welcome back, dear viewers. The testimonies that show us the amazing power of God. When you are connected with God, you can break any limits in your life. That's the reason why you could watch amazing testimonies. The same can happen to you. You don't need to feel downcast, desperate, or disappointed about this situation right now. Like we are talking about the message of the widow. When her husband passed away, the husband left the inheritance of that. Imagine it. And she asked for the man of God, the prophet, the direction that could change the situation of her life. The creditors came to knock the door of her house, ready to take the kids to become slaves. It was not an easy situation. The man of God asked the woman, What do you have? She did not have any money or anything valuable in the house. The only thing that she had at the time, it was a jar of oil. So the man of God said, Go and gather as many vessels you can. You can knock the doors of people's houses around, ask your neighbors, friends, just gather vases. And later on, you will close the door of your house and start pouring oil in each and every vessel. So this is what she decided to do. And when she was pouring the oil, she could see that there was a multiplication. The quantity of the oil were able to make her to pay off all her debts. At the end of the day, the prophet even said, now you can live with it. It means she was able to hold a business that she could not expect that one day it would be in her hands. So that's the reason why we know that our God is amazing. The only thing that you have to do is to obey the voice of the man of God. You can ask the devices from the pastors of the church and they will lead you, they will guide you. If you obey the voice of God, you'll be able to break these limits in your life. The first limit you have to break, it's about the doubts. You know that the doubts normally comes to people's mind, but that widow, as you could observe, she was so determined that what came to her mind, it was just to obey. She obeyed the voice of God and she was able to see positive results. My dear viewers, it's your opportunity for to change the story of your life. So go to the nearest UCKG Help Center or Succeed in Life Center and take action. By the way, what about tonight's question? Have you thought about it? I need for you to explain to us what is fasting? When should we fast? We will let you know about the answer right now. Take a look on the screen. Fasting is a partial or total abstinence from food. Its purpose is to deny the physical body in order to gain more spiritual strength. We are not saying that our physical body needs to be punished. When a person fasts, his spirit is freed and as a consequence, he is enabled to seek out God, who is the Spirit, in a deep and a personal way. We have two types of fasting, partial and total fast. When should we fast? In times of tragedy, 2 Samuel chapter 1, verse 12. When the church is experiencing hardships, Luke chapter 5, verse 33 to verse 35. When friends and the families are being attacked, Psalms chapter 35, verse 13. In personal affliction, 2 Samuel chapter 12, verse 16. In times of danger, Esther chapter 4, verse 16. When the Lord's ministers are being consecrated, Acts chapter 13, verse 3, chapter 14, 
verse 23. As you could observe, dear viewers, when you do any fasting, you need to know for what purpose you are doing this fasting. You need to open your fasting first, present the cause to God, and then closing it when you are about to finish your purpose. So there is a beginning and that there is an end. You will determine the hours of fasting that you will do. We mentioned about the total fasting and the partial fasting. The total fasting you will abstain from eating and drinking for that specific hours of fasting. It will be the total denial of your fleshly desires. Or you can do the partial fasting. You abstain from eating, but you will drink water at least. You will determine the hours that you do this purpose of faith. And remember, every Christian, every believer, you should do that more often. So the more you fast, you will gain this spiritual strength inside of you. This spiritual power that will come from heaven to earth. As you could observe that there was a time the disciples could not cast out an evil spirit. Our Lord Jesus explained it to them because you should be always on prayer and fasting. It means you need to do this purpose of faith. So the moment that you use this power, the power of God, when you exercise your faith, it will be more effective. In the past, if you take a look in the Old Testament, the heroes of faith, they were fasting, especially in the moment of affliction, when the enemies would rise against them. So they would promote a fasting. There are certain examples in the Bible that the man of God, he decided to call the whole nation. Imagine it. The whole nation assembled together. Men, women, children, the elderly people, all of them they were fasting to drag God's attention to their lives. My dear viewers, there are many ways or many purposes that you can do concerning the fasting. There must be a reason. There must, there must be a cause. There must be an objective. Why you are fasting for? Like we saw the examples. Our Lord Jesus, He was fasting for 40 days. And that's the reason why He overcame the temptations that came from the devil. He was preparing Himself for the ministry, the responsibility, the mission given into His hands. In the next three years, that's the reason why, my dear viewers, fasting is so important. Every Christian, every believer, you should do it. If you want to know more about fasting, you can ask your local pastor. When you are under medications, please be careful. You should do the hours that you can, but without having problems of taking medications. It's necessary for you to take medications so you can stop it and then later on you can continue it. It's so important for you to take notes of this matter. When you are fasting, you should fast and be in spirit, be in focus about this matter with no distractions around. In the time you are fasting, you can read the Bible, you can pray more, just be there focused. You can mention in your prayers about uh, the reason why you are in this purpose. If you say, Pastor, if I eat a meal first, so later on can I open my fasting? Yes, you can open your fasting later on after one hour, two hours, because that's how your stomach will be already ready for the fasting. It will be important for you to follow these directions. So it will be a couple of hours in total denial of your fleshly desires to just present yourself to God in a way that will please Him. You are sanctifying yourself. You are filling yourself with this spiritual strength that comes from God. Let's go to a quick break and we'll be right back. In life, there are problems that just hit you with a blow. 
Everything crumbles away and the heartache never seems to disappear. Everything keeps going wrong. You are in despair. What do you do when your hope isn't enough? When your single prayer seems to return unanswered and the persistent problem is still there? Partner with God and make a chain of prayer. A Chain of Prayer is a weekly series of uninterrupted prayer and action to tackle the most stubborn of problems. Make the Chain of Prayer and turn things around once and for all. Don't give up. Make a Chain of Prayer. It works. Let's talk to your Father. Heavenly Father, they heard about the fasting many times, but unfortunately, they had many questions about it. They could not explain that properly, or they could not do it properly. But now that we have explained to them the difference of a total and a partial fasting, let my Lord, our church members, or those who are watching us for the first time to be able to do that more often. So my father, nothing will be able to destroy our relationship with you. And when we face problems, difficulties, when fears are around us, my Lord, help us in those moments that we are fasting because we depend on you we will be, my Lord, in our special moment with you. Deny our fleshly desires to drag your attention on us. My Lord, help your servants so they will take, my Lord, this fasting very seriously and that they will be able to overcome any situation. Their minds, their souls, their hearts will be purified their life is to be, my Lord, sanctified and ready to understand your will, ready to fight the enemies, the spiritual enemies all over this world. Father, help us and strengthen us right now in the name of our Lord. In the same way, we determine, my Father, that whoever is in trouble, as you can see on the comments, there are many requests. And we are, my Lord, in the purpose of breaking limits. Let your people to be able to break limits right now. And whatever is trying to hold their lives back, if their demons surround their lives, we rebuke every evil forces, every darkness, the spirits of diseases, the spirits that came to kill, to destroy, to steal, to mess up people's lives. I rebuke you now, Satan. I use my authority to destroy your power. I command you, evil spirit, you have to leave. You have to come out right now. You cannot stay in this environment anymore. You cannot stay in this life anymore. My Lord Jesus, feast the all. Those who are in prison, in the hospital, detention center, these are our family members, those who are suffering with financial problems, marriage problems, family problems. Let this situation to change right now. Those who are suffering with a mental illness, those who are, my father, suffering with a spiritual attacks, addictions, suicidal thoughts, depression, break, my Lord, to this evil cycle. Break the power of the devil now. I command you, Satan, in the name of my Lord Jesus, all of you, in Jesus' name, get out. We determine that the darkness is completely gone. Now, my Father, your light will come to this home. Your light will visit everyone's 
houses and the families my lord to bless this person whoever was sick and now you are totally healed the tumor disappeared and the oldest diseases are totally gone your body is the temple of the holy spirit that's the reason why we refuse to accept to be sick my lord declares us right now give this strength to your people and they will overcome any situation i stretch out my hands to determine your blessing if you listen and obey the voice of god in your life like the widow we explained in the church we know that your life will change there will be multiplication as you are making the decision to depend on god father i ask you for to do it on behalf of those who are living in this faith take a possession of your blessings take a possession of what god promised in his words determine that right now i will break all the limits in my life in jesus name we believe that this is how your faith will lead you for to be able to see the amazing power of god if you are not in this purpose yet you can go to our church our universal church or succeeding life center and you may ask the pastor about this purpose you can tell the pastor pastor i want to learn how to break the limits of my life and he will help you like the widow came to the prophet the prophet directed her and he helped her the same way will happen to you if you are living in japan i want to help you you will receive this direction for to overcome any situation let's break the limits together our address is tokyo to shinjuku ku hyakunin jo 2-23-43 close to okubo station north exit if you live in any part of japan on the north south east and west please you can call me on 080-3070-1661 and they will let you know about the nearest address you can attend our church. Let's go to the following progress right now. You can share the link, stay connected with us. The following program is Faith in Action, held by our Bishop Randall. And the last program is The Last Hit. May God bless you. Have a wonderful night and see you next Tuesday. When do you reach your limit? Have you ever given up on something that you really wanted? You gave up when you just couldn't go any further. It seemed like you had done everything you could. And when you realized you were at the end of your rope, there was nothing more you could do. That's when you decided to get a divorce, label your sickness as incurable, quit fighting for a promotion, declare bankruptcy, Give up on your dreams and goals, end your depression by ending your life. Please don't give up. On February 17, in every UCKG Health Center or Succeed in Life Center, you'll find a prophet of God who will show you that you have no limits. Any and every problem in your life can be resolved, but it's up to you. Get ready and find the nearest UCKG or Succeed in Life Center to you. Everything is possible if you believe.